I'm Dr. Lee Meng Yen. Uh, you can call me Scarlett. I'm from Hong Kong and I work in the University of Hong Kong School of Public Health. My lab is the top lab in the world for coronavirus. The reason I came to US is because I delivered the message of the truth of COVID-19. If I tell it in Hong Kong, the moment I start to tell it, I will be despaired and killed. No one can hear me. So for this purpose, I would like to go to US and tell the truth of the origins of COVID-19 to the world, to let people understand how terrible, how dangerous it is. This is nothing about politics. This is the thing about whether all the human in the world can survive. I'm the one of the first one get involved to COVID-19 research in the world from end of December. Since the 31 December, once we know there is a SARS-like coronavirus in China, in Wuhan, my supervisor, WHO consultant, Dr. Liu Peng, asked me to do some uh, secret investigation of what really happened in mainland China. The China government refused to get the overseas experts, even include Hong Kong ones, to do research in China. So I turned to my friends to get more information. This is a conversation happened on 31 December. I talked to a friend who is a scientist in the CDC in China. That friend has a first-hand information. And this person told me there is family cluster cases, so there should be human-to-human -human transmission. So this is a group full of the clinical doctors in a different hospital all over China. This is from the 31 December in China. And early morning, one of the doctors asked whether there are doctors in Wuhan who can share this information about this SARS-like virus. But there are people immediately warn this doctor that don't ask. And this is too sensitive. We cannot talk about it, but we need to wear masks. First, the human-to-human -human transmission become very worse in Wuhan. There are many, many patients that don't get uh, treatment on time and diagnosis on time. There is no protection for both doctors and the patient and uh, common people. And also, uh, the government doesn't allow people to release such information. Hospital doctors are scared, but they cannot talk. CDC staff are scared. So I report these things to Liu Peng. Uh, once I get the result, uh, but he asked me to keep silent and be careful. As he warned me before, don't touch the red line. That means don't go across the China government's procedure. Uh, to, don't cross the China government principle. If not, we will get in trouble, we'll be disappeared. I thought this information could be delivered to public. And it is a very urgent information, so it should be responded to the public as soon as possible. But then he didn't do anything because I wait, I didn't see any response after many days even. And also uh, our co-director of the WHO lab, the Prof. Malik Paris, and they know it, but they didn't do any action. As a virologist, and even some of them are doctors, they should know how terrible this is. This is a public health threat they should do the quick response to it. They should have done many things. There are so many choices they can do to control this outbreak, not let it spread as a 
biggest disaster we have seen in the human history. I feel very disappointed, but I already know this would happen because I know the corruption among this kind of international organization like WHO to China government, to China Communist Party government. So basically I accept it, but I don't want this misleading information to spread to the world. I think it has to be corrected. I know what will happen to me. I know how they treat the whistleblowers. I see how terrible the government suppressed those young, innocent protesters. Unfortunately, Chinese speaking and English speaking are totally isolated. So we get response from our government within four hours report this. The government changed the case numbers from 62 to 198, triple. They admit this is human to human transmission. And also Chairman Xi issued the first statement in 2020 that claimed this one new coronavirus actually is infectious disease which put to the same level as SARS at that time. And then later within three days to uh, 23rd January they locked down Wuhan. He knows that I'm in danger. I have to leave as soon as possible. And ask me that whether I want to go to US to tell the truth to the world. I said I'm willing to do that. And my husband found that phone call. He's totally pissed up and he blamed me, tried to ruin my uh, confidence. Also show he's totally scared of China government. He said they will kill all of us. I tried to persuade him to go to US with me, but I failed. So Monday, 27 April, I got my US ticket. And then 28 April, I took the flight to go to US. That day I was very nervous. Any step before the flight set off, I know I can be stopped. When I arrived at LAX, initially it goes very well. I pass the custom and then I get my luggages. When I tried to go through the exit, there were two officers stop me. Seems they are waiting for me. I don't know why. They just stop me and uh, bring me to the office and then try to ask me where I'm from, what kind of work I'm working on. And I'm so scared. So I think I have to tell them the truth because I, did, I don't want to come here to do anything wrong. I'm doing the right thing. So I tell them that don't let me go back to China. I'm the one who come here to tell the truth of COVID-19 and please protect me. If not, the China government will kill me. And those officers are shocked. Since I left Hong Kong within just several hours, when I was still on the flight, the whole government recruited and the China Ministry of State Security went to my hometown Qingdao and with policemen to give trouble to my family.
since middle of May, uh, our government start to put on land the attack on me, like the cyber military attacking me from Twitter. At that time, I didn't expose my identity. I haven't been to the public. Only they know who I am. They try to uh, spread a lot of rumor, ruin my reputation, and said I'm lying. They created a fake fa uh, Facebook account uh, which is under my Chinese name in the moon using my profile and to tell people that I'm kidnapped in US, I try to lie to people and uh, even I have the mental disorder. <laughs> also the University of Hong Kong blocked my staff account and tried to delete my web page from the University of Hong Kong website. <laughs> All the things like this, I'm, I'm sure once this go to the public there will be worse things come to attack me full of lies. Of course I'm afraid of the safety I'm worried about the safety of my family and my friends and all the people who had sent me the information no matter doctors or officers or lab people, researchers, scientists, they all know it clearly. They trust me. And so that's why I need to protect them. They are all under surveillance, under trouble, and my family in life-threatening danger definitely every day. Social distance. Two meters is better. 70% alcohol is very useful, clean your hand. And also wear the mask if you get gathering, get close to people. Surgical mask. This is about global health. No political issues. I mean, this is all of us involved. No matter this party, that party, this country, that country. The only thing is, when people understand the truth, they know how to protect themselves. You have to image how many cases not reported from China. Already, if there is 6 million people in the world, 1 in 600 get confirmed. But this will increase in a very quick speed. Image one day you see 1 in 100 people already get infected in the world. And later, 1 in 50, 1 in 10. That means none of us can escape from this. Don't expect the herd immunity, especially at this time, because you don't know this virus. You cannot judge the character of this virus according to our previous experience. And we don't expect the vaccine at this moment or some magic solution at this moment. The only thing we can do is to understand where it comes from do the right research and protect us, protect our family, our friend, anyone around us in the right way. That is the only thing we can do now. That is why I need to tell it to the world. I really need people to understand this is very, very critical for every one of us.